Hello and welcome to a second tutorial on computer network. In this tutorial we will talk about classification of computer network. So we can classify computer network according to different criteria or different factors are involved in which we can classify computer network. For example, by size, size of the computer network, by connectivity. By connectivity we mean that how we connect this compu these computer by medium, which sort of medium we use and the fourth one is by mobility here we will just discuss by size some of the different network based on size are personal area network or pen local area network or lane metropolitan area network or main wide area network or when so let's discuss this in detail personal area network a personal area network or PN is computer network organized around an individual person within a single building. This could be inside a small office or home. A typical PN would include one or more computer, telephone, per peripheral devices, video game, console and other personal entertainment devices. Let's see the diagram. For example, in this diagram we have two laptop, we have mobile devices as well, printer or wireless card, wireless mouse. This all call pen or personal area network because this is all your personal things personal belongings in a small geographical area or inside a room now let's proceed to local area network a local area network or lane consists of a computer network at a single site typically an individual office building a lane is very useful for sharing resources such as data storage and printers LAN can be built with relatively inexpensive hardware such as hubs, switch, network adapter and ethernet cables. I will really suggest if you have more computer use switch instead of hubs because it will it will increase the broadcast which will slow down your network so as far as possible use switch instead of hubs. The smallest lane may be only two computers, while large lane can accommodate hundreds of computers. A lane typically relies mostly on wired connection for increased speed and security. But however, we can use wireless connection as well. It can be also be a part of lane. High speed and relatively low cost are the defining characteristics of lane. So there are two features of the lane. High speed and low cost. Next we proceed to, this is the diagrammatic representation, representation of LAN, for example this we have many s computers, these are the server, printers, you can connect many other things and these are connected through centralized way, there could be switch or hubs, but use switch instead of hub as I told you. So next we proceed to metropolitan area network. A metropolitan area network are main consists of a computer network across an entire city. It, its area or size is in entire city, college campus or small region. A main is larger than a lane. Now by size, the main is larger than when which is typically limited to a single building or site. In lane as we see that it is just restricted to one single building. But main is not restricted to one just single building, it's entire is is limited to a single city. Depending on the configuration, this type of network can cover an area from several miles to tens of miles. A main is often used to connect several lanes together to form a bigger network. While when this type of network is specif specifically designed for a college campus, it is sometimes referred to as a campus area network or SCAN. Now for example in big university they have campus in a campus site that sort of uh, arrangement you have different buildings so these buildings are connected with each other so in that case it we refer to as campus area network this is example for example we have one lane two lane second three lane four five and these are interconnected with each other within a single geographical area so that's we we call it main or campus area network Another is wide area network. A wide area network or WAN occupies a very large area such as an entire country or an entire world. A WAN can contain multiple small networks such as LANs or MAN. The internet is the best known example of a public WAN. For example, 
we have one lane here we have another lane we have another lane and these are connected with each other and so they form a bigger network which is called WAN wide area network internet for example is the WAN the best example for example it is the network of network so that's it for today see you in the next tutorial